In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a planning board in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. I have created four sections where the first column I have put the idea, the next column is to-do list, doing and done. When I click, the first idea will come in the form of a post-it note. You can see here, you can add the text and if you want, you can add some icons here. Then click the next one, the second idea will come, then the third idea and when i click the to do list will come okay the first thing which i would like to do is to send the email to the client and the second is a weekly report to be published and currently what i'm working on you can just add the text here and then done i've set daily reports circulated to higher management so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these post-it notes likewise i have created one more slide with some different uh, background you can see here uh, i have just put the heading as planning board and then i have tried to use a whiteboard as a background and the same information is available here and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to insert a rectangle go to insert shapes i'm going to choose a rectangle draw the rectangle depending on the requirement so here i'm going to make the height as maybe 1.95 and the width as 2 then shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and then i'm going to edit this shape for that right mouse click edit point and you can see the four points i'm just going to drag this point a somewhat inside a little bit all right like this then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle something like this you can see here or maybe till this part shape outline no outline shape fill black and send this to back okay send back so it looks something like this now i'm going to select this shape right mouse click go to format shape and increase the transparency level you know i'm going to give a shadow effect kind of thing and then go to the effects under soft edges increase the size a little bit we can see here something like this and if you want you can just increase a little bit more also so i have given some shadow effect and then i'm going to change this color i'm going to select the gradient fill and i'm using two stops any color of your choice you can choose for example one stop i'm going to choose maybe some uh darker this one which is the gold color and other side i'm going to make it somewhat light color you can see here so once this is done i'm going to press ctrl g to group it all right now let me just draw some lines so go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose the freeform shape from this end you can just click like this i'm going to draw a line and shape outline you can increase the weight and if you want you can just <coughs> sorry you can just change the color of the line so once this is done i'm going to put it here and then i'm going to draw three more vertical line so that go insert again shapes i'm going to choose the freeform shape again from here this is one line double click this one again go to insert shapes this is the second line and this is the third line which i'm going to or you can use this freeform scribble also if you make freeform scribble it looks like this whichever way you want you can just choose now i'm going to give the same uh, width for that i'm going to select this one go to home and double click the format painter and i'm just going to click on this you can see here and press escape key so once this is done i'm going to add the labels go to insert text box i'm typing here idea all right center align 
and increase the font size if you want and the font i'm going to choose the hand of sean and then i'm going to put it here hold the control shift key click on the just bring it here you can see here and release it again hold the control shift key bring it here and release it so this one i'll just say to do this is i'm just saying doing and this is done so depending on your requirement you can change this uh, text so this one i'm going to select and tilt a little bit like this you can see here this is my first one press ctrl d to duplicate bring it down till the other side and i'm going to change the color according to my requirement you can just choose any color of your choice so uh, one color here another color some light color okay i'm going to put it here press ctrl d now let's choose some other color i can go here more colors i can go to more colors also and then depending on my requirement i can just choose any color of my choice maybe i'm going to choose some a darker green uh, with some light green color combination you can see uh, maybe some light green okay so this is the other one i'm tilting it the other side so like this now i can just simply copy this bring it here tilt a little bit so this is my to-do list to-do list say i've got two things to do i'm going to put it here then i'm going to select this one and this is i'm doing and one more which is already been done and again if you want to change the color of your choice for example i'm going to choose maybe uh go to more colors maybe some purple colors we can choose dark purple and then i'm going to choose some light one like this and then if you want you can just add any text of your choice so go to insert text box and i'm going to say add your detail text here again center align if you want and if you want the same hand of Sean you can just choose this this one tilt a little bit and put your text like this all right so this one also again control D to copy to duplicate sorry and then you can just add your own text like this so once you add the text you can group it if you want you can see here i'm just selecting this one and grouping or i can just simply select this one hold the shift key and press ctrl g to group it so once this is done you can uh, do a uh, animation effect for this one so go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to choose this one add animation maybe i'm going to choose fly in fly in you can make it from the top bottom depending on your requirement you can just choose it and once this is done i'm going to select this one click on animation painter and i'm going to make it one by one appear like this you can see here and then press the escape key now if i do a slideshow the first idea comes then second the third then to do list and then doing and the work is already been done so like this you can make it and if you like you can just change this one to something like this i've just used one rectangle here all right and change the background color to some dark color here 